Progress. Okay, I go to Rosh Hashanah Welcome back. We're going to uh, continue our series on tefillah. I'm going to bring everyone to the email. Our series on tefillah is dedicated by our good friend Rabbi Sal Rose and family. Zechnishos Tzvi Ben Levi Yitzchak. His Neshama Shav and Aliyah be a male associate for his whole family. For Simcha Sanachas Ad Bias Goel Tzedek. Back to our email. If anybody here um, enjoyed some of the Svarim, but you say, you know, I'd really like to read it in Spanish or French. You know, you enjoyed it in English, but you know, it, it, it's a different time. I want to let you, I want to tell you, you've never experienced the sweetness of Taira until you uh, read it in Spanish or French. No, all kidding aside, if you would like to help out disseminate it in Spanish and French, please let us know. Last night I met with uh, my good friend, Rabbi Yosef Mendoza from Mexico, who's going to be translating the work in Spanish. The, the process already began. So if you'd like to be Mishtatev, um, please let us know. Okay, now we mentioned, again, you may have forgot to take out your calendar. So now you could still do it. If you didn't do it by the last year, you could do it now. March 3rd to March 5th, please join us. First ever, Yarchei Kala, Machon Magid Rakia. The sugya is going to be Halachos of, and Hashkafos of uh, the current war and the Mois HaMashiach. New material, brand new material. Don't say, nah, I already heard it. You didn't hear it yet. Don't say, nah, I'm going to, no, you got to be there live. You, we have special uh, surprises in store. Um, please join us March 3rd to March 5th. The many people who... Um, over the years, like to, would have liked to join us on our trips. We're going, Bezos Hashem, at the end of February to Italy, the 17th to the 22nd. But not everybody is able to uh, go uh, to Europe or to other locations. But this is right here uh, in the wintertime, people, anyway, they often go down south. Haroitza Lahach Gem Yadrim. Please join us March 3rd to March 5th. Okay, we're continuing in our series on tefillah. And We're speaking today about Krishna. <clears throat> now, I want to share with you today another insight from Rav Schwab on what Krishna means to us. Krishna is a mitzvah min ha What's the mitzvah? You say it when people b'shach b'chov kumecha, when people get up and when people lie down. And there are many, many opinions on Krishna. Many pais can hold, only the first pasuk is midairaisa. That is the shita of the Rajba in Brachis Chafalif, in the Chuvas, Chelek Alef Simen Shin Chaf. Many pais can hold, many Rishayim hold, the first parsha is Dairaisa. That's the shita of Rashi in the beginning of Brachis, Tamide Rabbeinu Yoyna, Brachis Tezayin. Then uh, the shita of the Prichadash is that the first two parshiyos are Dairaisa. The Shagis Arye says all three parshiyos are Dairaisa. Some say the whole Kriyashma is Mijabanan. Um, the Talmidei Rabbeinu Yoyna. That it might only be Mijabanan. The Chi of Midairaisa is to read some parsha of the Torah, B'Shach B'cha Uv Kumecha. And the Rabbanan were the ones who selected these parshas. But everybody agrees that by saying Shema, you're Mekayim Mitzvah Da'iraisa. And the Zman is three hours into the day. And therefore it's a Zman Grama, and women are Pater. Now even though women are Pater from the Mitzvah of Shema, but the Inyan of Shema, of Shema, which stands for, Rabbi said last week, you want to listen to last week's Tefillah share, it was epic. And we didn't have Mara Mekoymas last week, but I made it, I made this week, for this week, and for last week. So if you go to our email, I would highly suggest you print out last week's Mara Mekomis on Shema. Shema stands for Su'u Marei Meinechem. It stands for Shakai Melech Oilam. It stands for Shachris Mincha Arvis. It stands for O Malchus Shamayim. In other words, Su'u Marei Meinechem. To who? Shakai Melech Oilam. When? Shachris Mincha Arvis. If you do that, you're Mekabo O Malchus Shamayim. Now, when you say Shema, the Chalmur Masakin, to say two brachas in front of it, and one after, and at night, two before, two after. Not including Baruch Hashem, Lo'elam, Amin, Va'amin. 
Question. If there is a mitzvah to say Shema, why do we not make a bracha? Asher Kedushan of a mitzvah Likroi says Shema. So last week we saw from the Avodraham that the whole purpose of a bracha is to be Makabal Omachos Shemayim. So that's not needed when you say Shema because the whole function of Shema is to be Makabal Omachos Shemayim. So, but Rabbi Schwab offers a different uh, explanation, a different approach. He says, What would the halacha be if you said the first Pasuk of Shema and you are not Mechavin? You need to be mechaven the meaning of the words. If you just say the words, Shema Yisrael Hashem Aleikeinu Hashem Echad, and somebody asks, what does that mean? And you say, I don't know, it has something to do with um, different flavors of iced tea. You say, pal, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You are not mechaven the mitzvah. What do you mean? I said the words. No, if you don't understand the words, you're not yoytze. That means the mitzvah is not to say it. The mitzvah is to be mechaven. So it comes out that there's no mitzvah of Kriya. The Iker mitzvah is Kavana. Says Rabbi Shwab, you don't make a bracha unless there's a Maisa mitzvah. But Shema is not a Maisa, it's a Kavana. That's why according to the Rambam, that Tefillah is a Dairaisa, you don't make a bracha on it either. Because the same thing when you daven, the Iker mitzvah is Kavana. If you're not Mechavin, at least in the first bracha, La yatsa. That's why we don't make a, br- a bracha when, uh, before we daven. Okay. In the Medrash we find that we have to f- be careful of saying Shema because it's equal to all the Karbanais. Um, over the years we've said over many times, Shmuel, you know when we were in Amsterdam, we gave a shir about how the different parts of um, davening correspond to the various locations of the Beis HaMikdash. Shema corresponds to the Mizbeach HaKetairas. And the reason why it corresponds to the Mizbeach HaKetairas is like we learned, when one says Shema, they're supposed to be Mechavein, that if ever put to the ultimate test, they would give up their life al Kiddush Hashem. So Chazal tell us that one has to be careful when they say Shema, because saying Shema is equal to all the Karbanais. How is saying Shema equal to all the Karbanais? The, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? I talk so loud, sorry. He says, the reason why it's um, equal to all the Karbanais is because really a person should have to offer themselves to God. And the Torah says, okay, you don't have to. Bring a Karban and that will be in lieu of you. And Hashem will consider the Karban in place of you. But Kriya you're not bringing a replacement for you. Kriya Shema, you're literally sacrificing yourself. Really? How am I sacrificing myself? By accepting upon yourself the yoke of heaven, you're basically saying, Hashem, I could have lived my life however I wanted. I accept upon myself the yoke of heaven and I give my life to you. The reason why when one says Shema, they're supposed to think that if ever put to the ultimate test, they would give up their life, is because that's what it means to be Mekabah Omach HaShemayim. Omach HaShemayim is, you're giving your living life, you're giving your life, not you're giving up your life, you're dedicating your life to the, the yoke of heaven. So therefore, Shema is greater than any carbon. A carbon is something in lieu of you. Shema is you're giving up you. Rabbi Schwab quotes the Zayar HaKadosh that a medication for man in this world is by reciting Kriya Shema. Saying Shema properly is a refuah ba'olam hazeh. Meaning, what does it mean it's a refuah? So says Rabbi Schwab, if somebody has any doubts in his belief in the giving of the Torah, in God's existence, they could cure it with a passionate recitation of Shema. By saying Shema, says Reb Shwab, you're mechazik, your battery. Wow, unbelievable. Davar yafa bi'itai. You see, just today, when I got hundreds of new batteries, Reb Shwab uses the word battery in his Sefer. Can you imagine? It's a mamish hashgacha pratis. 
hundreds of batteries here. And here Rabbi Schwab says, by saying Shema, you recharge your batteries. If you had any questions, if you had any doubts, if you had any sveikais, you reaffirm all the tenets of Amuna so that you're not faltering at all. And then the Zara continues. And he says, there are 248 words in Shema, connected to the 248 limbs of a person. And if you read Shema properly, then you're, uh, you're bringing remedy to each aver of your body. By the way, the Medrash Tanchuma says also, do not treat Shema lightly. Even though it doesn't require great tircha and it doesn't cost money, there are 248 words connected to a person's limbs. Now let's, let's get the cheshbin. You need to count the six words Baruch Shem Kavad Machus Le'Elam Vaid. Without them, then there are 242 words. God says, if you guard my Shema, I will guard you. So you say, what do you mean? There are only 245 words in Shema. No. The Shliach Sibor repeats Hashem Elekechem Emes. And if you want to know more about this, by the way, please join us every day at 9 a.m. Do you know about this? 9 a.m., Monday through Thursday. We learn Mishnah Bura. It's very Gishmak. We learn a half uh, Amad a day. 15, 20 minutes. 9 a.m. Now, what about if you're davening B'yechidos? Keo Melech Ne'eman. Says Reb Schwab something very interesting. In Frankfurt and in... Many Ger- uh, German kehilais, the Shliach Tzibor does not say Hashem Leikechem MS. All he says is MS. You know about that? You ever see that? In uh, KAJ, they just say MS. So the question is, so then what? Are they missing a nose and the right ear? They're missing two, uh, two limbs. No, but Ashkenazim, when they hear the Chazim say, they answer Amin. That's one word. Then they say MS at the end of their Shema. That's the second word. Then they hear the Chazan say MS. That's the third word. So that's how they get the three words. Okay. Now I want to share with you something amazing. In Parshas Vaschanan, the Pasuk says, Az Yavdi Yom Aisha Shaloi Sharim Be'ever Hayardein Mizrecha Ashamesh Lano ho shama roit se yach. Asher yitzach zre bevli das vihu. Loi soy ne loi mitzmo shushayim vinas. El achas min he arim hoel vachai. So if somebody kills Beshoigeg, they have to run to one of the three Are Miklat. Moshe Rabbeinu separated. He designated three Are Miklat on the Trans Jordan. And it didn't go into effect until the three Arei Miklat in Eretz Yisrael proper went into effect. So in total, there's, there's six Arei Miklat. Three in Transjordan and three in Eretz Yisrael proper. The Pasuk then says, V'zois ha-toyra asher sa-moyshe l'fnei b'nei Yisrael. The Gemara says in Makois, How do you know Divrei Toyra is like an Arei Miklat? Because it says the six Arei Miklat as Betzar Bamidbar, and then it says V'zois ha-toyra. So the Toyra is like an Arei Miklat. So Rabbi Shwab asks, how, how is Torah like an Ari Miklat? Says Rabbi Shwab, the same way an Ari Miklat protects someone who killed Beshoigeg without knowing that he'd be saved from the Goyal Hadam, so too if somebody killed themselves Beshoigeg. Let's say somebody Beshoigeg did not vera that one is Chayv Misavide Shemaim or Kares. Somebody turned on a light on Shabbos. Somebody violated any capital offense, Bavli Das. So Chas Shalom, they could lose their, their life and Oilam Haba. So how do they save themselves? They have to run away to the Taira. Where should they run? They should run to the six Ari Miklat. What are the six Ari Miklat? Says Rab Shwab. The six words of Kriya Shema, Shema Yisrael Hashem Eloikeinu Hashem Echad, are the six Arei Miklat. But we also find that besides the six Arei Miklat, it was given to Leviim 42 Arei Halavim. So in total, there are 48 Arei Miklat. 
Ah, oh, says Rav Schwab, in the par- parsha of the Ahavta, the Ahavta, without Baruch Shem, there are another 42 words. The six words of Shema are connected to the six Ari Mikla. The next 42 words of Shema from the Ahavta until the Visharecha are connected to the Ari Halavim that also service as the Ari Mikla. So this is the Matana that we are Mekabel from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Sheish Ari Mikla is Shema. And the rest of Shema is the 42 Arei Halavim, and they protect us when we do something improper. That is the protection of the first parsha of Shema. So I would just humbly add that perhaps is the reason why the parsha of Kriya Shema appears there in Parsha Zvaschanan after Hashem gives us the mitzvah of Arei Miklat. That's sort of a remez that indeed Kriya Shema is the uh, Arei Miklat of the Jewish people. Okay, Rabbi Isai, uh, one more, one more short Vartar I want to share with you.